Well, YouTube, uh, probably not going to do any work on it tonight, but I at least decided to show you guys that it's back in the shop. Back in the shop being the keyword. Uh, I got a low tire on that side, low tire on this side. <clears throat> but it's making the strangest noise I've ever heard. Phil, pop the hood, please, and thank you. Okay, now I'm going to have Phil fired up. Okay, so, um, obviously you've heard that strange noise now. Um, what I actually think is going on here is that we've got a stuck, uh, we've got a stuck exhaust valve, stuck open. And remember that when I put this motor in this Bronco, um, it never has been right from the get-go. This, this thing was never 100%, and it just got worse and worse. Um, I think it's got a stuck exhaust valve because it sounds like there's compression coming out of the exhaust. Um, which would, you know, strike me as just a touch strange. Other than, you know, a, a stuck exhaust valve. Roman thinks it's maybe got a cracked head. There's been theories of cracked blocks. We've checked, you know, at the carburetor. There's nothing coming out of the carburetor as far as blowback. So it's definitely not something on the intake side. Uh, Phil, do you have any insight? to offer. That is the weirdest sound I've ever heard in my life coming off an engine. Honestly, I'm I'm kind of with Roman on, a, on the cracked head because I don't think it would cause that loud of a noise if it's coming out the exhaust. It might give you a strange sound out of your exhaust, but... Yeah. Well, I won't argue with anybody because I got no idea what that is, but every once in a while you'll see a poof of something coming up out of this side, and I think it's out of that exhaust donut because that side's always leaked a little bit on the donut. But long and short of it is, this Bronco is getting uh, is getting a motor that oh look at this we've been out to Enid and gotten engine stands. But the Bronco is getting the motor that resides on this very first engine stand. The other thing that's going to happen with the Bronco is that the Bronco is getting 32s. But we're curious what it's going to look like with 31s on it. So I've got two 31s just laying around ready to put on. So we're going to go ahead and jack up the Bronco and see what it looks like on 31s. And then tomorrow, my 32s will arrive, and I probably won't actually get them mounted for quite a while here, but... No, because I want to see what it looks like the 32s. We're doing it tomorrow. Oh, well, you find me some frickin' spoons and shit, because the spoons belong to the ranch, so I didn't oh, take those. I'll get some. I will figure out where they are. You will find spoons. Senex or Farm and Home. Feel free to bring me a set. I saw what the price is on. They're spendy. Are they? Ah. They're 90 bucks a spoon. Holy crap! So, uh, if any of you guys have got a set of spoons you want to part with, uh, just get rid of, you know, randomly, uh, feel free to send them my way. I'll pay you for them, just not 90 bucks a pop. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead jack up the Bronco and let's see what this bad boy looks like on 31s. YouTube, I think I've done something wonderful. Wonderfully crazy. I don't personally like the rims on it, but the tire size is fantastic. And here's the thing, we're going an inch bigger. We're going to 32, 11, 50. So there's a question that has been raised here. Um, we're thinking, based on what these tires look like, that a 33 will actually clear on a stock height Bronco. So if one of you guys can tell me if a 33 will actually clear and not rub on a stock height Bronco, please let me know because if I can go to 33s on this without a lift, I just might do that. Well, YouTubes, the time is near. Um, I haven't really gotten any footage of it yet, but uh, but 
Um, I've been taking it apart a little bit at a time as I've had time. I've had a lot going on here the last couple days. And um, anyways, so, and I'm probably not going to get a whole lot of footage of undoing the motor. Most of it's just going to be us pulling it and, and whatnot. Uh, Phil's coming over here in a little bit, and I'm going to finish getting the bottom side unbolted, exhaust, motor mounts, torque converter, and whatnot. And uh, try and have it ready to pull by the time Phil gets here. Uh, and I'm probably not going to get much footage of that, mostly because I just feel like hanging out and listening to some music which I can't do while I'm taking a video, so, uh, yeah. Um, that, and I don't feel like taking a video much after the trip I had last night, but that's a whole story for another time. But anyways, so, you can see that we got her going, we got her started, started uh, getting the motor pulled anyways. Got all my gaskets and oils and fluids and whatnot right there, and, um, yeah. So we're going to get moving on it, and I'll catch you guys back up when I have the, uh, when I'm ready to pull the motor. Okay, YouTubes, so we're a little bit nervous. This uh, engine picker is not the stoutest piece of machinery in the world. And uh, we're going to try and pull this motor with it on 500 pound setting here, because otherwise we don't have enough depth in to get in there. Um, I guess we just kind of have to see how it goes, but at any rate, we're ready to jerk the motor on the drum. What we intend to do here. You know, Phil, the other option is to uh, see if Dino borrow us his. And I'm thinking that might actually be a better option than this. Let's try to roll it. Okay. I don't want to get hurt. I want you or me to get hurt, quite honestly. And that's what I see happening. This is a little product. Oh, we're getting stuck on the kick down. Oh, oh. No, that's not. Alright YouTube, we went over to Wayne's brother's place and got a, got a nice engine picker, but we didn't have a trailer or a pickup to get it. Hence why I'm making this little video to show you why. We had plenty of people staring at us and trying to figure out what the hell. This is my convertible. Took the top down, put the engine picker right in the back. If you want to see some funny expressions, Try it sometime. You will have more people staring and pointing going, what in the hell is that? What are these crazy kooks doing? Oh, yes. Loving it. Yep. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 